the sun is shining brightly over the borough of Brookville. And while there is a heavy sense of renewal, the smell of spring signifies the onset of the summer heat. For these big boys with big toys, there is no spring break. With yet another long road ahead, these racers finally come out to play in the fresh Pennsylvania air. Power coming to you from the borough of Forkville in northwestern Pennsylvania at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. You know, this is not only the first of the year for us, but also the kickoff of the 2017 racing season for JM Motorsports, as well as the start of Bonner's Motorsports Annual Summer Tour. Now, that's the group we covered last year, and we had more than enough storylines. It seemed that every time our cameras were around, a certain school bus didn't want to cooperate. Well, after a grueling first quarter, that truck has been completely gone through, and it looks like those days are behind it. Now, just when we thought we were finding solidity in this titan of transportation, there's been a change in driver. J.R. Seasock, since about three weeks ago, has moved on with his career, and now it's Preston Perez who will jump aboard the bus for a play date with this rowdy bunch. And when we come back, we'll see who can get the horsepower planted to the track and be king of the sandbox in this dusty Pennsylvania soil. Brookville, Pennsylvania at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds getting ready for the wheelie competition which will kick off the 2017 racing season for JM Motorsports. As we mentioned before, this is also the beginning of Bonner's Motorsports annual summer tour. It's going to be a very busy summer for that man right there, Matt Cody out of Williamsport, Maryland driving this Iron Warrior. This truck debuted in 1996. It's still out going strong. It debuted as Black Stallion and now runs as the Iron Warrior. He's the 2015 Wheelie of the Year recipient. You can see right there he's got something to show us. That is why he won that award. One more look at it. Drifts off to his left and gets into that tire. But they're going for wheel stands right now, so momentum isn't necessarily a factor, although it does help because this is kind of a mini freestyle. It often turns into one. Doesn't start that way. But Matt likes to set his wheelies up and get the front end nice and high. Stand the truck nice and vertical. Now in the outfield, let's see what he has on his second hit. Beautiful effort. That is going to be tough to beat. Again, clipping those tires out there. They are. Uh, a bit. Those are for the tough truck course as well that'll be running here today. And clips the tailgate on the cars, no real damage done there, but that is going to be a tough mark to beat. He set the pace for everybody else that's got to go behind him. If anyone can beat it, it's this man, 35, going on 36 years, the veteran. I don't want to call him old, but here is Michael Vodder Sr. in the Safety Clean Black Stallion. Very well acquainted with this competition as he was the 1999, 2005, 2006, and 2007 Thunder Nationals champion. Good start with that wheelie. They're probably not going to take the lead. As you can see, he's not one to take time to set up his moves. Again, just goes right for the hit. I don't think those are going to take over the lead. Impressive shots, though. He likes to get right to the action and you get another look at that outfield hit. Stood it up, but not quite to the level that Matt Cody did. This is another machine that's been around for quite a while and it's still getting a good use. Solid run for the Safety Clean Black Stallion, and here comes the newcomer out of Spokane, Washington. This is Preston Perez. 
higher education. He first met Preston in uh, Durham, Connecticut last year when he was crewing for the former driver of this machine, J.R. Seesock, has moved on with his career. Now Preston makes his competition debut in this machine. Not a newcomer to Monster Trucks with a beautiful hit there. Not going to really clips the tire coming around. Still getting used to this machine. Every monster truck is different. It takes seat time to learn how to drive each individual truck. Not new to the seat of monster trucks, though. He drove for Sam Sturgis out west for a while. And All right, here he comes on his second hit. Now that's for his second hit. Not going to get the lead with that, but nothing to be ashamed of. It's not like the power wasn't quite there, but he's not afraid to use what the bus does have. He's made that very evident with just those first two hits, and this was a nice, solid hit here. Got the front end up. This truck tends to land soft, and we've heard it's not real friendly to wheelie. You have to kind of know how to get in and drive it first, but for a first effort, that was a very, very solid first hit. We'll Our move on the back stretch. Again, that was not what he was going for, but nothing to be ashamed of there. Let's get ready for the hot shot. This is the one they've all been waiting for. This is the Marty Garza design overkill evolution being driven by Mike Vodders the second out of Williamsport, Maryland. 2014 Young Gun Shootout Champ. 2015 Freestyle Champ. And that is not an uncommon sight. Doesn't even go after a wheelie. Just brings the truck out and puts on a two-hit mini freestyle. Let's see what he does on the backstretch here. He's probably just going to go for some big air. Indeed, gets some big hits. And this is about fan approval. So if it gets you the win, go ahead and do it. We've said that before. Seems to follow that motto each time. Watch this. Huge air hit off the first set, and it will get bigger. You see that bus stack in the background? That'll be used for freestyle later, so this is just a precursor to that. You know this truck is more than capable of getting the massive air in freestyle. That's a beautiful shot. The Woodland backdrop here in Brookville, Pennsylvania. There you see it. He has won the wheelie competition. Mikey Vonner starts out on a good note here. Matt Cody coming in second. Wheelies followed by Michael Vonner in the safety clean black stallion and Preston Perez rounding out the four truck field. Hey, you want to know what this is about? We'll explain it when we get back also. Side by side, Monster Truck Racing is coming up. Stay with us here on Monster Power. Jefferson County Fairgrounds in Brookville, Pennsylvania with JM Motorsports 2017 racing season. And we told you we'd tell you what this fire was about. You may have noticed the obstacles around the course. We have tough truck racing going on here this afternoon. We have two classes. A modified class that run two at a time, but there's also this stock class that runs single runs. Well, this young lady went for a ride during her first round run. Not a bad first leg, by the way. She got off the line beautifully. Hit the back stretch in full force, but you're going to notice when she comes back around to hit the center plateau, something doesn't quite go right. Makes that inside corner, starts heading back toward the grandstand. After a few hard hits, there you see a connector break loose. It uh, looks like a, maybe a pose. Starting to dump some fuel out. Well, the fuel tank is coming loose. And there it goes. It's coming right off. Dumping fuel all over the course. Windshield wipers are working, though, so she's still got battery power. But that truck is going nowhere. All the fuel dumped out of it on that second leg. Never made it around to the finish line. There you see it. Fire and rescue with Johnny on the spot, though, and they... Had to get the fuel off the track, so control burn. Quick little 
break. That play is why the fire. Kind of I'd be using thing. gloves to do that. I bet that fuel tank was heavy. It looked awful full. Monster Truck Racing now, round number one. There you see father and son making their way to the course. Second matchup will be Iron Warrior Matt Cody against President Perez. Interesting to see how Perez fares in racing with his new ride. First up, though, Michael Vodder Sr. out of Hagerstown, Maryland, against his son, Mike Vodder II. In Overkill Evolution out of Williamsport, Maryland. You know, there's some pride on the line here. Round one racing underway. Overkill Evolution with the jump in this front lane is favorable. The obstacles stick out a bit in that outfield lane. Look at Mikey get around that corner. He is gaining on his father who is struggling. Something not going right on the safety clean Black Stallion as he makes it back around the front stretch. Mikey is way out of the lead. There comes Mike Sr. Second jump on the front stretch. You see Mikey in the background and he will cross the finish line first. We'll get an easy victory there. He'll head to the final round. Mike Sr. heads back to the pits. He'll go to the third place race. He'll take on whoever loses this second matchup. We're going to take another look at this matchup on replay. Not a bad jump off the line for Mike Sr., but it seemed like he struggled a bit after the truck landed. It seemed to lose power. He also bounced way off to the left. You see right there, we didn't notice that on the real time, but Mikey really dirt track in this truck. Crab walks around this tire. He got to get to the outside. It's tough though on this front stretch and on the back stretch, but on this front stretch, there is some tough truck jumps just off to this left side here. And you want to stay clear of them so you don't get out of shape. He did a beautiful job of that. And he's going on to the finals. Yeah, you see Matt Cody out of Williamsport, Maryland, taking on Spokane, Washington's Preston Perez. Very higher education monster, but beautiful launch for Perez. Nice and low, a little bit out of shape. Stays straight going into the second jump. Perez with a lead. He's actually come out of this with a lead as he goes into the first turn, but he oversteers it. That'll give Matt Cody a free shot. Perez trying to back up way, but I highly doubt he's going to be able to make that much of a deficit up before Matt Cody gets back around and Perez struggling a bit now. The truck doesn't sound like it's under full power. Here goes Cody across the finish line with a win. Perez will go ahead and finish up his run. Going to save the truck from the third place race against his boss, Mike Rodder Sr. Going to turn around and get back on the starting line as well. Matt Cody heads to the pits to get ready for the finals. Here is what caused Perez. He was actually way out in front, about a full two truck lengths, I would say, from this camera angle, but he oversteered going into this corner and ended up facing that tire, and he may have been able to go ahead, go on over it, but he would run the risk of possibly flipping or breaking the truck and not putting down a legal run. He wanted to keep it legal. And he was better off doing so. Here comes Matt Cody's final turn. He was dirt tracking and he just barely misses that uh, corner marker. Big loader tire they've got there. Nice launch for Cody. He moves on to the final round. And third place race already underway. And Preston Perez did not get to make much of it. Did not make it off the starting line, headed for the first jump, and the truck shut down. Michael Bonner Sr. will be awarded third place there. You see Perez sitting there on the back stretch. Bonner's will just complete a run. All he's going to do is make it over this last jump. He may not even have to do that. He cuts the inside of the corner marker because he could get between the bus and the jersey barriers. And that'll be third place for Mike Bonner Sr. And that'll take us right into our final round. Mikey Vodder's the second in Overkill Evolution. Here you see how they got here in the final round. Mikey beat his father. 
And Matt Cody beat Preston Perez, driving an ailing higher education. Mikey is actually in the bad lane, so the favorite here has to be Matt Cody. If he can hold that lead, he can take a win. This is going to be a tight final round. Good launches for both trucks. Matt Cody in the lead. Mikey is way out of shape going to the second jump. Almost high sided in there. He's going to have to make up some distance in the corner. Cody clips a corner marker. That could hurt him. Now he's getting out of shape. Mikey trying to make it up on the front stretch. All over the course, both trucks having trouble. Mikey heading to the final jump. Matt Cody's lost a little ground. Looked like Mikey recovered first. Cody up on two wheels. Who won it? Waiting for the official word. It looked like Vodders took the win, which would give him the overall event victory. Good launch here on the replay from Matt Cody. You can see he had the better of the two lanes to start. They're not quite even. There are a few obstacles, freestyle and tough truck, sticking out in that front lane. In the background there, you can see Mikey Vodders up on two wheels. Good turn here for Matt Cody in the final leg of the course, but he's a little out of shape going into this and a little bit behind. He clipped a corner marker in his first turn, and that may have cost him. This is Mike Vodders, the second launch in Overkill Evolution. It was a solid launch. Up over the first set of cars, got out of shape, and that cost him a lot of ground, and that's why he was pushing so hard to make up for it as he came around this front side. Watch this weird sideways landing and does a beautiful job of straightening it up heading to the second jump on this side. You're going to see him here. He'll actually cock the wheels in the air and get ready for this corner. This truck lands so smooth. It's got a pretty good run going actually. Headed to the final jump. It's one jump and it's a center finish line. It's a common finish line. Watch this sideways launch. I thought he might be going over here. Managed to keep it upright. Cameramen don't know where to go. And there's one more look at Matt Cody's wild finish. And it was indeed Mikey Vodders taking the win in Overkill Evolution, which will give him the overall event victory. It's not over yet, though. The question is, can he take the clean sweep? Freestyle is next oh, here on Monster Power. Uh-oh, school time. JM Motorsports powers into the summer with big shows during the months of August. And the Monster Trucks are back Friday, August 4th and Saturday, August 5th for high-flying racing and freestyle at Little Valley, New York at the Kenneris County Fairgrounds. August 10th, the Wayne County Fairgrounds in North Sale, Pennsylvania see major Monster Truck mania with racing, freestyle, and more. This is an event you won't want to miss with a backflip attempt by 2015 World Freestyle Champ Overkill Evolution. JM Motorsports, worldwide producer of amazing motorsports events. Welcome back to Brookville, Pennsylvania in the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. You know, Preston Perez came out to start his freestyle in the higher education machine. And that happened. Electrical problems again. But, earlier on, Michael Vodder Sr. in the Safety Clean Black Stallion came out to kick off the freestyle and laid down this beautiful run. Not afraid to air it out even after 35 years in the business, almost 36, do not call this man old. Still a kid at heart, he loves playing with big trucks and he laid down a score to beat. Matt Cody and Mike Letters in second are going to have to go after it and it looks like Preston Perez will too. Higher Education is running, they ran down to the other end of the track while we were showing you those highlights and it looks like they may have, you see the lights are off on the upper corners of the windows there, the flashing lights. Looks like they may have tempered the electrical problems enough to get a freestyle out of this truck and a beautiful hit into a slap wheelie. Combos it up, doesn't stop for anything, just keeps with the Ford momentum and that's what you have to do to get a good freestyle score. This has got to feel good for Perez after the struggles he's had this weekend. New drive, oh he dumped a drive shaft. Unbelievable. It's got to be the curse of the camera. 
I have seen this truck lay down beautiful runs. Honestly, but every time we have our cameras around, something happens. And with a part like that, it's hard to tell when it fractures. Those parts wear out, but it could have been right here. Hard landing on the left front. I doubt that was what cost him, but... Again, from the reverse angle, it was a beautiful move. He had such a great freestyle set up to go. Look at him power up right here. He stands in the throttle and just stands that beautiful monster bus up. Again, when this truck runs right, it is spectacular to watch. Right here, you'll see it as he rounds this corner to come back onto the front stretch. Starts running, you see the drive shaft fall out of it. Looked like a front drive shaft. Unfortunate ending for Rest of Rest. I know he's disappointed. He wanted that center bus stack. Matt Cody coming out now. And the Iron Warrior, he's going to lay down the run that Mike Vodders the second one to be. That's if he can complete the run, because remember, he's still got to be Mike Sr. Matt Cody been running on one of the Monster Jam Arena tours all first quarter with this truck under a different name. Had plenty of seat time there. Up over the bus stack. Hard landing on the left or on the right front, excuse me. Keeps the momentum up a lot of big air. Looks like he's gonna backside the bus. Does way over on the nose. Doesn't stop him though. He's got a lot of experience in smaller venues. It's actually helping him here as big as, look at that hang time, as big as this field is. He's able to use that arena experience to get the truck turned around quicker and get to more obstacles in the allotted time. Backsides these tough truck obstacles, stands it up. That's something we haven't seen yet. That could get him to lead moves like that. He's done enough so far to get the lead. He's gone longer than Mike Vaughn Sr. did. Mentioned this truck was built in 1996 or debuted in 1996. He's gone through many changes over that time, but still out here running strong, running with the best of them. Matt, again, the 2015 Arena Wheelie Champion. Look at that slap wheelie. See what he's got left. Going to bring it to a stop right there, and I can already tell you he's going to take the lead as he comes out to salute the fans here in Brookville, Pennsylvania at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. Great kickoff to the season for JM Motorsports. Another look at it. Get some nice air on this backside here. And heads around to the outfield. To find something to pick on over there. Here was his bus hit. This is from the reverse angle. And look at the hang time. Comes down hard on the right front. Twenty-one year old machine taking that punishment. That is how well built this truck is. Way over on the nose. Here's the backside off the uh, tough truck obstacles. And look at the sideways hit he takes again on the right front. Plows through that second obstacle as he heads for the third. What a run for Matt Cody. Here's the slap wheelie that he had on the backside stack. See him tap the brakes in the air to get the front end to level out, and he was he forced that truck into a slap wheelie. That is how good a driver Matt Cody is, and that's how well built this machine is to take that punishment. But if anyone's gonna beat him, it's gonna be this guy right here, Mike Potter, the second out of Williamsport, Maryland, in Overkill Evolution. Comes right after it. Huge air off of that center jump. Similarly to Matt, he likes to get this truck turned around quick and go after the obstacles. He does not like to waste time looking for anything. He just likes to hit it and hope for the best and get some nice air there. That might be some of the best air. Look at the hang time off of that tough truck ramp.
backsides the bus right there. I don't know if he quite got what Cody did off him, but so far I'd say he's got the biggest air of the afternoon. Here you go. Only the second one to do this. He and his father were the only ones to hit that jammer stack. He's putting it together. It's going to be close. If he finishes the run, it's going to be close between he and Cody. He's going to backside these as well. Those have produced some really, really strange launches. You see the suspension just flex and move all around there. He's going to hit for the bus stack again. Really has it together. He heads to the outfield. Let's see what he does from here. A little bit of a high side there with some big air headed toward the trees. Backsides the bus again. I don't know that there's much left in this run, but he's done a lot with what he's had. He's going to slide it to a stop. This is going to be a tough one. He's won the overall. So at this point, the question is, did he take the clean sweep? You see him salute the fans. Well, here's a look at the run again. And this is the hit, the first hit on that tough truck option. You see how as abrupt as that ramp is, how much air it gives him. I'll say between the two runs, Matt Cody's, I think, might have actually been a little faster paced, but there was more air out of this run. In the actual top end might have been a little faster in this. I don't know if the acceleration was there, so it's going to be close between Overkill Evolution and Iron Warrior. This truck, I will say, its biggest fault is that it makes the run look too smooth. And that's saying a lot, because he got out and after. You see the second hit on that tough truck obstacle, and the air was just tremendous. That hit on the jammer stack, it was the biggest hit of the afternoon. And it did get him the win. Clean sweep across the board. Mikey Vodder's the second. Overkill Evolution out of Williamsport, Maryland will take the overall. Followed by Matt Cody in the Iron Warrior. Michael Vodder Sr. in Black Stallion, the safety clean Black Stallion. And Preston Perez, who has not had the easiest afternoon, but has shown his wear driving that school bus. Congratulations to our champion. Mikey Vodders the second in Overkill Evolution, taking an overall victory and a clean sweep here in one afternoon in Brookville. Of course, if you want to see Vodders Motorsports in action later this year, July 28th and 30th in Fredericksburg, Virginia. That's a Friday and a Sunday show at the Ag Motorsports Park. And September 2nd in Woodstock, Virginia at the Shenandoah County Fairgrounds. We were at those shows last year. If all goes well, we'll be bringing you the action here on Monster Power again, but do not hesitate to get out to them live and remember to check out JM Motorsports when they're at a fairgrounds near you for all of us here at Monster Power we'll see you next time